Ruth here, and this is just the voiceover of our trip that we went down to Cardiff City Center with my sister, and we went by bus. So, woke up at like, what, seven something or something, and took the 8.50 a.m. bus all the way down, and let's see, first stop, we stopped at the um, what's it called? Americandy candy store, which is a sweet shop with American candy. I think it's relatively new, not sure. But as you can see through the, the pictures, all sorts of lovely goodies. And you'll see on the whole part of this video what I bought. So then the next part, we went to Primark. So, on the ground floor, there was only mainly bags and jumpers, or sweaters, or whatever you want to call them, and PJs. So, not that much stuff. There was, like, a pin thing, but I didn't really like the design too much, so I decided to skip that. Half the thing that reason I went was for the pin, but those ones weren't very ones that I wanted. So... Moving on, we went upstairs one floor to the home section, and this, we hit the jackpot. So we had loads of stuff, including hot water bottles, mugs, and um, candles, um, notebooks, niffler thingies, and dangler thingies. And obviously the duvet and pillow, you know, bed set, cover set, whatever you call it. And some more pillows. And actually some five-star, I think they're Funko anyway, uh, figures. Which was pretty cool. And like there's some... Dobby's face was kind of funny though. Um, as I was saying, there's also some phone covers and like memo pads type thing not really memo to-do list thing yeah there's uh, push pins but loads of them had smudges on it for some reason so I skipped those too there's like the room of requirement sign wall sign whatever it's called and Loads more, um, like, covers for, like, king size and whatever. Then they're in many different designs. And then there was some throws, which I did buy one. Can't hate. Um, then just, uh, very huge pillows. But I don't really need any more pillows, so I skipped that. Um, there was also, like, a door, a wooden door hanger thing, waiting for my Hogwarts letter. <laughs> and, like, fuzzy notebooks and stuff. Also, while I was up there, I thought it was pretty cute. The, um, Mulan, uh, pillow. It's really beautiful. Didn't get it, though, because I don't actually need any more pillows. And there was, like, the Simba head pillow. Then Timon mug, which is the funny face. Some stitch... Um, I guess that's a hot water bottle thing. Some cup thingies, too. And, uh, oh yeah, there were also, uh, other, you know, Harry Potter stuff that I took pictures of, which I'll put it back in the Harry Potter section, not in this section, sort of. Um, then, oh, actually, I could put it there anyway. Um, up one's floor, there was the kids section. So the only thing that was Harry Potter related really was uh, robes and PJs and slippers. I thought might as well. I took a picture of these uh, Marvel PJs too. And a Mario uh, shirt thing. And a Pikachu shirt, you know. Okay, so next up we are in game. I just took like a little wander inside. And we came across Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter Lego sets. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, 
There's also a Fantastic Beasts um, book cover shirt, which was really cool, you know, like gold foiling type of thing. And there's like one row of Nifflers, Niffler, Niffler plushies. It was so cute with like the bow truckle and I think. Is that Newt? I can't. I. Anyway, you're leading the line. It just looks so cute. But anyway. For some reason, we also took a picture of a Deadpool stress ball. And these are also pins. They are fig pins. I think that's what they call them. They're really quite heavy metal ones. So I'm guessing £10 is a pretty good price for them. I didn't get any, though. Um, then, don't know why I took this picture, but it's Pokemon, so. Um, so this is the, uh, like, empty cases, you know, for the reserve or whatever thing you do in game and also the uh free game exclusive pokemon poster of the Mew and Mewtwo uh unified minds thing okay so next up we are in Hamley's they have a very good Harry Potter section I think the only thing I bought from here were two pins though but it is a very lovely Harry Potter section they have like loads of stuff as you see so like pins, key rings, pens, um, books, pencil cases, more books, a pensive thing on the bottom, then there's more books, <laughs> notebooks, uh, hats, bags, ties, um, games, Lego, more Lego, uh, mugs, Plushies, more mugs, way more mugs, <laughs> um, blind bags, metal wall sign thingies, and the uh, Scrabble, which is really tempting to actually get, actually, but I never got it. Um, puzzles, a talking sorting hat, and these lovely magical creature uh, figures that come in their own like cases. Those are really pretty. Very good for twenty eight pounds I believe it's very very lovely detail on these things so lovely I didn't get any though but it's very tempting and there's like little mini figure things that come with the sticker book those those things and I uh, said this talking hat thing yes and did I say pencil cases well loads of loads of stuff and close-up stuff. Oh, and here are some Top Trumps ones of those. And, obviously, I couldn't resist. This is on the top shelf nearest to the ceiling. Like, you know, where the huge things go. Those are huge Pikachus, let me tell you that. Then here's the Pokemon uh, shelf. Not very much on it. I mean, it's the only shelf for Pokemon. So, eh. But also, ooh, Night Fury. Um... They got some books for that sticker stuff, yes. And I took pieces of random cool stuff. Ooh, some ha more Harry Potter stuff. This are, these are the gummy thingies and the chocolate wands and the birdie bots, every flavor beans. I was tempted to get a chocolate frog thing because they came with their own little card as well, but it was five pounds and the cho actual chocolate frog was not very big. So, yeah. Um, more chocolate, and I took pictures of these huge teddy bears near the ceiling, and, you know, why not? And Hamley's has mostly loads of, loads of plushies, which are very soft, like super soft, lovely, and so huge on some of them, like, massive, like, really, really, like the one on the parachute, that was from the ceiling, I was hanging from the ceiling. Disney store now, I took a picture of the floor because it was glittery. Not a very good picture, but still, it's a glittery floor, and I had to take a picture of it because I'm weird like that. So they had a very good Funko Pop selection shelf, and they did actually have uh, Ariel, but um, that's, you know, in the end scene where she comes out of the water with the dress. But those dresses, you know, they look just so plain when they're not glittery, and they don't look real to me, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to skip that. 
If it came out with a glittery version, I probably would want that. <laughs> I mean, I've got the glitter version of her pink dress. <laughs> anyway. Very huge Mickey Mouse for that 90th anniversary thingy. But, yeah, very good stuff. And I love Mufasa. His voice is awesome. Uh, anyway, here's some... Um, by the way, my hand shakes a lot when I take pictures sometimes, which is very annoying when I look at it after. But these are like uh, music box type thingies. Ornaments. And I just did Donald Duck because my dad likes Donald Duck and I just took a picture anyway. And here we have stopped for lunch at Mount Fuji. So, I got a mango smoothie with cream. Takoyaki dumplings, two sets of six pieces, I mean, why not? <laughs> and, oh, and the tempura mix. And the chicken gyoza, which is five pieces. Obviously, when you come to this type of place, you gotta eat with chopsticks. But anyway, my mango smoothie, and my sister's mango smoothie. She doesn't like it with cream. I'm not sure why. Cream's awesome. Says the person with lactose intolerance. But, it's still awesome. I had takoyaki. Yeah, when the, when the lady put it out, she put it in front of my sister, thinking that it was one for each of us. I'm like, no, it's mine. <laughs> uh, mixed red, uh, mixed uh, tempura, which is four vegetables, two avocado, two fish, two prawns, and two orange things. So it could be pumpkin or squash. I have no clue. And I think there was one mushroom. So anyway, we got pictures of them all, and some close-ups of everything. Oh, and the gyoza, which I think I did a very good picture of that one. But that sauce with the gyoza is a bit sharp for me. I actually used the uh, tempura sauce, <laughs> which is, yeah. Anyway, so my sister got teriyaki chicken and yakisoba, as you also see in the picture. And um, <coughs> when I because I normally drink at the end after I finish eating, so I have more stomach space. So, like, I kind of took a while, and so my cream melted a bit. Well, it wasn't as whipped as it used to be. So I decided to stir it in. And when you stir things in very vigorously with a paper straw, it breaks. So I'm not sure if anyone's ever had to ask them for a replacement straw. <laughs> yes, I broke my straw. <laughs> I found that really amusing. <laughs> anyway, so Mount Fuji was lovely. I probably would go there again. Then this next place is called Menkind. And I just took a picture of a couple of things that I found in there, like these bell jar things of the snitch and the rose from Beauty and the Beast. It looks so pretty. $24.99, so not that bad, actually. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't have anywhere to put it, so I didn't get it anyway, so. But I really do love it. I mean, I love roses in general. But red roses, mainly. They have very good Funko Pop selection. I mean, really good. But, considering some of those I've seen in Tesco, and I can get those for like £10, and these ones were listed for $14.99 and $15.99, or I can get them at, like, other Funko selling places, like, what, Pop All Sorts, or, um, Pop in a Box, or, you know, one of those things. So I decided to wait. And I took a picture of this Simba because his face is so amusing. Um, also these mugs, because I'm like, why not, yeah, because it's funny. And this was mainly to show my brother because he likes My Hero Academia and I've never gotten into it. But like 30 pounds for those? Wow. And some more Funkos. And Harry Potter stuff. Like the, the potion wrap looks pretty cool. Actually. In the very top corner there's like those mini pins. Like those mini chibi uh, drawn pins of Ron and Hermione, and I need a Harry Potter one 
Because I've got those two already. <laughs> Other things? Like a letter set there? I've got that. I got that from for Christmas from my sister. Never used it yet. Um, an interactive wand is down there. Next, you're in the television and movie store. I figured this picture of like the Hogwarts nine three quarters express Hogwarts Express nine three quarters Hogwarts Express plaque poster thing on the wall look pretty. Also with the Dumbledore's army um, scroll and wands like set up next to it looks awesome. So I took a picture of that. And then I obviously did a whole circuit around the store, and when I came back to the front on the other side from where I started, there was the Harry Potter stuff. Yes, it just, it just happens to some people. Anyway, so you got some cool mugs, cool notebooks, loads of cool notebooks, <laughs> loads, of, and that cool Patronus slide up thingy majig. So here's some more in the. Uh, in more detail. Very cool notebooks. Like down there, there's a Crimes of Grindelwald uh, four exercise book set, which looks pretty cool. But I don't need exercise books, so I didn't get it. And you see that Grimwald place, a uh, little tote bag thing. Yep. Luckily, I already got that from my subscription box, <laughs> so I didn't need to get that. Um. And yeah, that's it's got some other key rings and little mini figures and stuff. So that's that store. Oh, it looks like he's got they got bags or something at the front. Uh, anyway, that's got loads of other. What's the word? Memorabilia. Oh, there was this funny thing. There's this guy in front of me with his kid or so, and his kid kept on touching everything and picking it up and putting it back. So like, it it was so funny. The guy, the guy said to his kid. This, this is not like your normal toy store. It's a toy store for adults. And that just cracked me up. It's totally true, but totally cracked me up. Anyway, that's just a little side funny thing. Next is that I came across this cool pride decorated emergency ambulance that just is sitting in the street. I'm guessing for emergencies, obviously, because it's an emergency ambulance. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Then there's this random uh, advert for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, I believe. Uh, 19th of September uh, 2019. Uh, St. David's Hall. I'm not sure what it's for. Is it like a orchestra related thing? Or a play? Or a showing of something? I have no idea, I forgot, I am not really sure. But anyway, now we, um, before this, I did go into Tiger, which was really cool art stuff, canvases and whatnot, but I forgot to take pictures in there. I got too wrapped up in browsing that I forgot, unfortunately, but there we go. So this is The Works. Oh. Student discount, you get extra 10% off. Well, I'm not a student anymore. I haven't been a student for more than five years, probably. Uh, anyway, we got some cool stuff like that. Uh, well, there's mugs. Um, that pensive thing that is really cool. I did have a brief look inside. Though I'm not sure why it says huge savings on a thing that used to be $23.99 to a 20 pounds. I mean, that's not huge savings. It's savings, but it's not huge savings, you know. I mean, huge is, like, in huge lettering. And that ain't huge. It's it's great savings, but not huge savings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, then there's a uh, Quidditch ball set. Trivial Pursuit, which I've got. I actually got it for £10 also in uh, Tesco. And um, there's this... Wizarding World Movie Magic Book, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that one before. Then there's some notebooks, some more mugs and key rings, and some of these small things, which are like miniature f minifigures with a sticker book. So I've got Voldemort's wand and Harry's wand. 
and like on here it has Newt's suitcase, uh, Hermione's wand, Hermione's time turner, sorting hat, and I can't read the other one so I forgot what it was. <laughs> They're not bad for seven or six pounds each. Not bad at all. And I took a picture of the Cardiff Castle clocky bit. Mm hmm. The clocky bit. Because it was shiny. Because, like, you know, the clocky bit was gold and it was, the sun was shining, so it was shiny. Mm hmm. It's shiny. I like shiny things. If you hadn't noticed. <laughs> then we went on the bus on the way back. And that was like the 410 bus. So, like, we spent. And it took like maybe an hour or so to get there. Then, like, because obviously most of the shops don't open until 9 or 10, so which is good. Though there was traffic on the way back near where we live. So, um, we arrived back home at like 6 or so. Near, nearest to 6, anyway. So, Though, did you know that if the bus was more than five minutes late, they're not allowed to go to the next stop. They'd have to go back to the station or wherever they go to. I didn't know that. The driver said that when he was talking to one of the other passengers. And considering it's talking across the entire bus, everyone heard it. Well, it was only me, my sister, and one other passenger on it. So, yeah. And I slept, and I accidentally dozed like ten times, and almost sort of bumped my head into the rail that was behind me. It was, it was like a light tap, but still, that woke me up for like at least a minute, and I went back to sleep. <laughs> anyway, on to the whole part now. And I already recorded that, so here it goes. Mm -hmm.